I'm gonna put you guys back there. Hopefully you can still see me a little bit. But hi, it's been like forever and a day since I vlogged because life has just been so busy. And usually I do want to vlog those like, and usually I do want to vlog those like happy and exciting moments, but they just happen so fast that there was just no time to vlog. I don't remember the last time I spoke to you. Like, my cousin was getting married. Oh! But my cousin was getting married. That weekend was so bam, 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 bam. I didn't even have, like, I didn't even have the strength to pull out my camera. And even when I tried to do, it was always like a crowded space. And I'm not just, I'm not that person that's like, hi guys, welcome to my vlog, while there's like 20 people in the background. And that was like the case the whole wedding. There was just, there was a lot of people everywhere. It was a big wedding. I intended on vlogging. But after that first like day, it was just like, okay, this camera's gotta go away because what is happening? It was just, it was just so much going on. So I couldn't vlog that weekend. And then the weekend after I wanted to vlog, that was the weekend of um, Deb's bridal shower and the weekend I did the fall board night. But I could not find, what, what couldn't I find? I couldn't find my battery charger anywhere. And I knew I had it in my bag, but somewhere along the way during my cousin's wedding. Oh, it's a stop sign. Oops, my bad. This is not where the red light is. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> I just stopped there. It's a stop sign, not a red light. But yeah, after my cousin's wedding, I had it in that bag, but it just kind of went missing. Yeah, so by the time I ordered a new battery charger and everything, the whole weekend had passed. I didn't have enough. I don't think I had enough storage on my phone to film an entire vlog. Like, I'm messing up the camera. We had a good time at the bridal shower. That was really cute and fun. And then I also, the fall board night was fun. I did a little Keith Lee review on TikTok. A few days ago, I mentioned that me and my friends would be doing <laughs> We're going to do this review Keith Lee style. A few days ago, I mentioned that I would be playing a fall board night with my friends. Let's try the meals and rate it 1 through 10. As you can see, I have no food. <laughs> As you can see, I have no bags in my hands. That's because I have it on Saturday and today's Tuesday. But let's rate the food. The very first issue, the oven broke. Although things were working against me, we persevered and we made the board night happen. We had four items on the menu. Let's go through them together. The chicken pot pie was a hit. The chicken pot pie was a hit of the night. Chef Kemi, me, made it from scratch. The pie crust along with the five with topping made a crunchy crust, but the inside of the pot pie was flavorful. <laughs> but the inside of the pot pie was still flavorful. Me and my friends would rate it a 9 out of 10. The next thing on the menu was the sweet potato gnocchi. I had some issues cooking this one and didn't quite see the hype, but it still tasted good. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. The third thing on the menu was a viral lasagna soup. It was a hit among the group. Even those that doubted it, they still loved it nonetheless. We would rate that a 9 out of 10. For dessert, we tried the pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Got a little burnt while being cooked. Still edible, but no one touched it. Overall, it was there for aesthetics. I give it a 5 out of 10. We also had apple cider donuts. Due to the fact that I got it from ShopRite, I give it a 3 out of 10 due to lack of effort. Lastly, we had apple crisps. Although this was good, the warm fruit was a little controversial for some people. Despite the complications, I give Fall Board Night a 8 out of 10. See you in the next one. Bye. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny, but the board night went well. That was always a good time when the girls get together and stuff like that. So we burnt, we burnt, I burnt a few things and I don't know. So the last fall board night, we did it last year, right? And that was all cool and fun and dandy, right? But I think I forgot to like factor in the amount of time it takes to cook because this is in my way. A lot of the items from the last fall board night when I did the whole Asian thing one, that was a lot of the stuff there I mainly ordered. So I just had to plate. But this one, I was I was cooking. I was cooking. I made chicken pot pie. I made lasagna soup. I made apple crisp. I was I was cooking, cooking. So they they I, I told them to come at seven. I was like, yeah, no, nah, y'all can't come at seven. I told them to come at eight. All my friends showed up on time. And then I was just like, y'all, we didn't eat dinner until about nine. After we ate a little bit, I was knocked out. I'm pretty sure there's footage of it somewhere, but I was knocked out. They tried to keep me up, but I was so tired and it was so bad, but it wasn't bad. I just, my friend said something, it's like, I need to factor in enough time. Oh, the camera, there you go. <gasps> oh no. Anyway, my friend said, I just need to factor in enough time between cooking 
and when my friends arrived and I don't think I fact that in because I didn't think it was gonna take that long to cook but boy was I wrong it took forever and a day to cook so the food came out well though I will say that the food came out well anyway that was last weekend right I'm all done now this weekend is my brother's wedding I'm currently at deep in Marshalls trying to find a dress for his wedding it's on Sunday today's currently Thursday it's not Thursday it's actually Friday so I don't have a lot of time trying to find a dress and it's another busy weekend life has been busy lately and I can't even complain because they're all like I'm tired don't get me wrong I'm not trying to complain I'm tired but they're all like such great things and they're such like they're all answered prayers so it's like although I'm like tired I'm still so so grateful to God because my cousin getting married, my brother getting married, the bridal shower, me and my friends getting together, like just to hang out and just chill. These are all great, great. The party tomorrow for my, um, what is happening tomorrow? My friends, parents, anniversary slash like birthday party. They're all like, it's a lot of events, but I'm also so grateful because these are all just huge milestone and just a testament of God's faithfulness and his mercy and his blessings in our lives. And it's just, I can't even get mad. I'm also heading to Marshalls. I probably should not have popped up my camera out here because I was going to leave it in my car, but I can't do that anymore. So we're going to go together. I hope I find something. It's like so late, but I don't care. Hi, guys. <sighs> so much stuff is going on. So, so much stuff. I haven't talked since yesterday, I think. I'm gonna try and get lively. My mood is kind of down because my back is in pain for some reason. Yeah, my back is in a little bit of pain, but we're currently ready. This morning, not much happened. We went to my church because we had a workers' conference. So we went there for the workers' conference. I have to go to the mall for like one last shot at an outfit for tomorrow. So I have to go to the mall for one last shot to just see if there was anything I could find there. And. I'm so glad that I went because I did find something to wear. So that's that's super exciting because I was starting to get worried, honestly, that I was going to wear nonsense to his wedding. Because I checked online and I just checked online. I just wasn't finding what I wanted. So, yeah. My emotions have been so, like, up and down my brother's wedding. I've mainly been, like, sobbing every now and then. But today I've just kind of, honestly, I haven't even seen him. I've barely seen him today. So I've been pretty, pretty chill. We're doing NARS on NARS today. I had this old concealer that I found. I'm so shocked. I hope actually doesn't it hasn't expired and it causes like a reaction on my face, but yeah, it's a NARS radiant creamy concealer. This is like the OG concealer of the girlies back in the day. I'm in so much pain and I don't like that at all. I'm not gonna bore you guys too much. I'm just gonna go do my makeup because, like I said, my body is really, really hurting right now. I hate coming on camera when I'm in like a funky mood. I deleted a whole vlog because of it. I literally hate that so much. Not even to like, um, not even in a way to like give you guys like a fake lifestyle. I just, I don't know. I feel like the conversation of, oh, relatable content, relatable content pops up all the time. And not that I want to be unrelatable, but it's also like, I feel like people come on social media and all that stuff to get away from their issues. So I just feel like me coming on here and like complaining and whining, maybe sometimes there's a time for that, but I just don't think today's a time for that. So literally like my whole birthday vlog prep, I was supposed to post it, but it was just like, my hair wasn't going right. I was tired and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna scrap this because like nobody wants to hear somebody complain forever and I don't know I don't know why this conversation just started but I just don't think there's anything with only posting the good moments I don't know if that makes sense I think you should keep it real don't get me wrong I don't even know where I'm going with this conversation I don't think there's anything wrong with keeping it real but I also don't think like I don't know people come on media to escape reality sometimes that's why I'm just gonna go shut up and do my makeup so I don't bring you guys down but I am super, super excited. I'm excited for tonight because Bells is in town. She's coming, and I feel like when the girls get together, it's always, it's always a great, it's always a grand old time. So I keep saying that I'm gonna shut up, and then I keep talking. I'm gonna go watch Ugly Betty. That has been my show lately. 
it's so good and i don't know why nobody told me that no one told me that it was good no one told me that um it was even a show for so long i thought ugly betty was a movie i don't know why i thought ugly betty was a movie ugly betty's a show and i love the show so much it's like my new i've said i'm gonna stop talking like 10 times now and i have not stopped talking isn't that crazy okay i actually think i'm gonna stop talking now ugly betty let's go guys i look so ashy so so ashy um but i'm back home and y'all it's officially 12 a.m and i'm already about to get emotional i already feel the waterworks coming oh my gosh let me add some lotion to my face because i'm so ashy oh, one second y'all about to it <laughs> I literally can't even say it without crying and I thought that like I had got some of the tears out but no yeah my brother is getting married today he is getting married today and I just I don't even know why I'm whispering <laughs> this is just like uh, so crazy I'm gonna cry, I can't even fake it, but, um, life has happened fast, and they're all exciting things, it's just, I'm really realizing that I don't think I, like, changed, and I know that's part of adulthood, and that's part of, like, growing up and all that stuff, but I think my brother getting married, and I don't know why, though, which is so funny, I don't know why, but it's, like, it's really dawning on me that we are growing up, and... I don't even know what I'm saying, but growing up with your siblings is such like a great blessing and I grew up with my brother and like I don't mean to sound so like morbid like he's literally moving less than 20 minutes away but it's just also knowing that even if we don't talk every day even if we don't communicate all the time I think so knowing that somebody's presence is there is like so important and I remember like a week or so ago, I was kind of just like boohoo crap, like who's going to disturb me in the shower? Because if you have siblings, you know that the moment you go in the shower, that's when you want to go in the shower. I can't just walk across the hall and just bam, 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 bang on somebody's door for no reason because he moved out. And yeah, I'm feeling a lot of feels today and I cannot articulate them properly, but I just, I'm going to wrap this up unless I'm going to sob because the more I think about and like I don't mean to be dramatic because everybody's alive everybody's in good health these are all great things but it's just like wow I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we get started on the day and everything but bye for now good morning guys it is currently Sunday and it is wedding day I'm on my way to go get some bobby pins because I need a few more things for Deb's hair then I'm about to go do Deb's hair. Deb is the bride, by the way, my brother's wife. My brother's wife. Wow. Wow. Wow.
That's so insane, my brother's life. Don't get me started. I already boohoo cried yesterday, as you guys can tell. As you guys saw, but, um, I'm starving. I haven't eaten. I went to go think, think, think. I went to the studio to finally get up a vlog that I've been trying to get up for the past, like, God knows how long. I don't know what it is, but sometimes my camera and everything, they just want to play with me. My hard drive has been acting up. I was supposed to get this vlog up, like, two, three weeks ago, and it just wasn't working. It is what it is, though. As, I don't know if you're, I'm having the traditional, like, Sunday morning. Sunday slash Saturday morning, depending on your household. If you're Nigerian, you know. Yam and eggs. That, and not sweet potato looking kind of yams that other cultures do. I'm talking about, like, yuca. Like, the one that Spanish people do, too. That type of yam. With eggs, with a little tomato onions in there. So good. That's the breakfast this morning. My mom already started cooking and everything. Oh yeah, she's gonna eat the fry. Harry, you don't think if um the mirror. You don't think we'll be fine if we just like brush it back and spray it and let it sit? Or what do you think? Carol's doing your makeup really bad. Like the light is girl. That wax girl. I was showing you hair earlier. It's a lot better. The crown. I still okay, feel it a little bit, but I did the AC uh, difference so twice. I was so concerned. But not in a good way. My brother right. really, I was like, he was like, Kenny, that's hair is going out. Like, she's texting me. Oh, yeah. I was so concerned. I was like, babe, I don't know. Photography Josh is here. You want oh, to this? Hello. 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 The man of the hour. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> yeah, so what I was trying to say to me was like, if you need to brush, just slick back instead of pulling the hair down. You can just literally do that. Yeah, as yeah. long as like that little line just fills you know, kind of there, like whatever. Ready with me for my brother's wedding. I literally can't believe I'm saying that. There's pure chaos going on in the house. Going in with my NARS foundation. Try and get through this without crying. But we're trying to get ready now to so go take some pictures. Such an exciting thing. I've been like so much in my field. But I realized that change is not easy and I haven't been handling change very well. I remember um, literally yesterday because I was vlogging for YouTube and I was sobbing because I was like, wow. I remember when me and my siblings were like every Sunday. We always, one thing that bonded us together were a lot of shows. So we would get together and watch um, Amazing Race till like the middle of the night. My dad would be off to work. It would just be us. Although we all had beds, we would just sleep on the couch together. And it was just such such a just cherished time and cherished memory. Talk about growing and evolution. It's like my fifth wedding this year, by the way. My sister got married this year. My cousin got married this year. A lot of weddings, a lot of love. And you know about what they say when God is in the neighborhood. So I honestly don't know what to say anymore because I'm just... I just don't know when we became adults. I don't know when we grew up. I don't know when it happened. I don't know. I'm gonna go finish my makeup off camera just so I don't keep getting emotional. But that's pretty much it. All I can say is that I wish them a blissful marriage, a happy, happy marriage. Can't wait to meet my nieces and nephews. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Bye. Mom's makeup. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How do you feel? Feel excited. <laughs> happy. Yeah, we thank God. Good. It's finally here. Yep. Hallelujah. Yeah. Little no chocolate, Papa. I don't know. Loria, then you. Somebody to me, she might make up many about her. Do not turn around. Hurry up, man. <laughs> not a man. <laughs> man is crazy. <laughs> I'm trying right, to see so. my prize. My prize comes. Hey. 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 How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. You look fantastic. You're not serious. You look like your back is great. Well, thank you. I'm trying to get a few, you know. I'll make you cry. I ain't gonna make you cry. But if we cry, that's okay. <laughs> Eyes closed. My hands going numb. 
Sorry. This way? Okay. So now, yeah, I'll put it aside. Do you want to see the Yeah, it is. Oh, wait. Don't be stiff. She does. Get the couple. Look here. Hi, Are my eyes open? How do you feel? Feels great. The man of the hour. Like. I'm very happy she said we should do a first look. I feel like the first look, it gave me the opportunity to take the nerves off a little bit, so I feel a lot more calm now. That's good. So I'm very happy about that. My big brother's getting married. OJD. Yes, I am. It is my honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dada! Thank <laughs> you. 